Hey, welcome back to the channel. I came downtown on Thursday because I had to get the heat in my car fixed. I've been driving around this whole winter with no heat in my car, but it's fixed now and that's a good thing because it, it has gotten a lot colder over the past few days. I came down here and I saw this cool old truck and I made a deal with myself that I was gonna come back and do a painting of that truck sometime in the next few days. We haven't had too many sunny days, but I think that it's gonna be just as good even though it's overcast skies today. It's quite cold today. I have my mom coming over for a little walk around the farm in a little bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this little painting. In today's video, we have Letters to January, Volume 2. I made it out for a little plein air painting this week, and even though we've had nothing but gray sky days, I found a lot of enjoyment in being outside in the fresh air. Uh, it's the third week of January. It's already flying by. I really enjoy the slower pace that happens during winter. I have plenty of time to do all the things that I want to do during the day. I'm really enjoying taking walks with my dogs around the frozen property, through the forests, and 
over the frozen bog and the frozen marshes, seeing bald eagles and rabbits and black squirrels. And in the warmer months, it, it always seems like time just gets away from me, but it's this time of year where I can really enjoy, enjoy all the activities that I like to do. So I hope that you enjoyed today's episode of Letters to January. If, you, if you're liking these videos, or even if you're not, please leave a comment below. I love hearing from all of you, and if you're a new follower or you've been here since day one, I just want to say thank you, and let's head right out into the field for a little plein air painting. We're back again for a little bit more frosty day painting. I'm at a location not far from my house. I'm on Terrytown Road and I paint out here quite a bit. This is the parents house of a couple of my former students and they're always cool with me painting out here. So I figured I would pull my car over and paint the old GMC that's parked by the road. There's a little bit of snow covering the truck now and, and I, I kind of like the way that it looks. so. I've already started sketching this thing out. I'm hoping to be in and out of here in about an hour today just so I can get home and get warmed up.
<laughs> She's loving it. Dear January, today it was supposed to be sunny, but the weather report was off, and it snowed all afternoon. School probably would have been canceled if it had started snowing earlier. For as long as I have been teaching, I have spent time in the evenings walking through the fields and along the river. The January woods has a different feeling than other times of the year. Everything is gray, but colorful at the same time. The snow is crunchy on top. It was warm last week, and the top of the snow is crusty with cushiony, cotton-like snow beneath. It's the kind of snow that makes squeaky, crunching noises when you walk in it. The timing of your footsteps creates a rhythm that adds to the feeling of winter. After work, walking through the snow clears away the layers of the day. There's a different energy that I have to use when I'm teaching at a middle school, and I need time to decompress my thoughts in nature. It seems like there isn't much that a walk in the snow cannot solve. The dogs like it too. There is so much time to spend indoors during the winter, and they are happiest digging in the snow, chasing bunnies, and running around. There's a beaver's dam in the river, and one day in the spring, the dogs will meet the beavers. The dogs run and tumble in the snow, but they always land on their feet. Just like clouds can tumble and turn and reform into perfect shapes. Thank you. 